Hello and welcome to Plan B Terraform. In this game from Gaddy Games, we terraform a lifeless rock into a lush and habitable world. Trucks, trains, factories, and a hexagonal grid planet. You can have population to simulate, uh, atmosphere, temperature, water, and forests also will be simulated. This game releases on February 15th. 2023. So if you're watching this demo playthrough for Steam Base Builder Fest, give it a try. Uh, give the demo a try and then get ready to uh, purchase the game if you're interested in less than three weeks or about three weeks. Also, don't forget to wishlist and follow the game on Steam if you're interested in it. That way they get a little bit more uh, notice before the game comes out. Without, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in and release or play the game. Uh, the demo of the game rather here so i did start a world of course as i usually do with with these at least to make sure that i can get into the game it works um, i'm glad i did in this case because there's a couple things that are a little bit um uh weird i guess is the is the, is the best word i can come up with is to put it but i'll show you what i mean as we get in um that i wasn't expecting and that i ended up having to change a couple things around in order to do it so let's start a new planet you can randomly generate the uh the planet name of course or you can type your own we'll do of course wally world and then confirm oh and one other thing don't right click on the background on the menu screen it will close the game I accidentally did it, wonder why the game crashed, quote unquote, and then um, started the game back up again, and then tested it, and that was what it was. So, here we go. So we uh, start here in a random spot on the, on the world. Uh, we have three points of interest here somewhere yeah there's there's three bases uh cities um the, the tutorials of course guiding us in with different things here but um the you know the the biggest point of it is to um you know the usual movement stuff uh the game wants us to select iron um finding iron is okay there's iron there uh there's iron here uh this is iron and then we also have up here something else, which is sulfur. And there's more iron over here, so you can kind of see those from the colors here. We have uh, aluminum here. And there's one more. Uh, is it down here? Blue one? Yeah. Blue one. No, maybe that's the same as aluminum. There is, There are four ores. Uh, that one, maybe? Fluorite. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's come over here, pick up, pick up one of these iron, or come to one of these iron nodes, and we need to place an extractor over iron. And this is the part that uh, threw me for a minute. Um, we, uh, this, this is leading to the part that threw me for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put one down. And then the next thing I think wants us to build a depot. And the depots are here in the second screen, or second uh, tab. We have six of them. And I thought that I wanted to put the depot, I mean, it says next to the extractor, but I thought I'd want to put the depot um, kind of like mine from the edge and then put the depot on a clean spot. And actually that kind of led me down a bad path. So I'll place the depot and then we need to change the depot's stock to iron. And then it'll automatically gather and we can watch it gather here, um, the iron uh, in boxes. Uh, from the miner, from the extractor, using this little bot, which is kind of cute. But then we want to uh, place a factory down. And this is kind of even getting closer to what I what I goofed up on before. What I goofed up on was that the, um, the next step here wants me to place 10 extractors, but we only have six total. And in order to make them, you have to make the steel bars, sure. And then you have to... Um, turn those into uh, something I think here in an assembly plant uh, the extractors but I think I can't remember if we have to have a depot in between or not actually I didn't test if we have to have a depot in between or not hoping to kind of see here um, yeah it looks like we, we will so let's um let's delete that put another depot down um, here and that should be assigned to steel 
And then they'll start collecting the steel from here, of course. And then we can put down another... No, not another one of those. Uh, delete that. Uh, one of these. And then that's going to make the extractors. And this is actually the only product it can make besides depots. So it defaults to the extractors. And that'll make us a few more extractors. And I'm not sure at this point. I think... I mean, we need more we need more steel. So what we need to do now is place down the rest of these. But you can place them down around the same depot, like this. So you can have five of them uh, collecting iron, and then that iron going in to make steel, and then that steel going into making extractors. Uh, but you can kind of nest them. And this is what I goofed up on before, because I had these kind of spread out, and I had them going to different factories, and then it was, it was not really making it back to the assembly plant. Um, so that really was the uh, issue that I had there. So kind of keep that in mind, although this might be a little too much for one factory, but we could always delete one of these extractors, put another factory in too. We'll see how it, how it stockpiles. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so we did make one more of these. So we should start another line. And I think I want to make that line be uh, kind of a little bit different of an angle here, but ending in the same kind of place. So let's put another factory down here. And it's automatically making steel. It's the only thing the factory can make right now. Uh, and then I want to take from that another um, another depot, or take to that another depot. But actually what I want to do here is not that. Delete that, please. I want to uh, middle mouse button this one, and that'll clone it. And I want to put actually two of these down. And the reason is I wanted to put it down on the... Um, on the empty one, so I didn't have to put uh, put the empty or skip that spot for the miner, and then that puts down the, the next three that I have: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just need to make two more um, extractors. But that's that's a just a, a weird sort of uh, layout planning thing that you figure out, I guess, the first time you play, and then you need to delete some stuff and move some stuff around. And then you're fine. But these can be linked together. If they have the same item, they're they're kind of the same thing. Um, they will still do what they're doing here and hop with the, with this with the uh, with the transport bots there uh, from one to the other. But they know that they're the same thing, so they know kind of to push it toward the factory at the end. Now, I don't know what happens if you have a factory say over here though. What will happen with this in terms of in terms of that? I'm not sure. another one of these down will it like take from here to bring it into here or will it only take these ones to bring them in that looks to be the case but I don't want that there so I'm going to delete it even though I just wasted two units of iron I don't know if there's the yeah, other actually is a limit or uh, for, uh, uh, capacity on these or uh, something on these and the last one and that gets us 10 extractors to two factories to one whatever that's called over there so that uh now we have to build five factories we have two of the five built uh the factories transform steel into mechanical parts also so we can uh we can do that here mechanical parts uh at a factory and we, that we, to make more factories and then we can also make assembly plants too with those mechanical parts so we do have one more factory left we want to take the steel from from there also and make this into uh, mechanical parts And then I guess those probably have to go into a depot as well. Kind of guessing now. Uh, this will be mechanical parts. There we go. So this is where we need even more extractors, which is why I set up two separate lines like this. And you see also that this extractor, sorry, this extractor, for example, is connected to both of these because they house its item that it's that it's collecting. But this one only connected to this one because that one is a steel uh, depot, not a um, not an iron depot. I want to just look here. Yeah, okay. So there isn't a, a depot thing for, um, like, the machines, the finalized machines. So now we can make more factories uh, at a an assembly plant, I believe, here. And, but we don't want to make extractors there. We want to make factories there. Make more factories at the factories. But actually, we also need to make assembly plants there. So we'll have to kind of be be prepared for that a little bit.
Let's see. I've got all these filled in. I've got all of these filled in. And we are just cooking here. So it might even be better to do like maybe like three depots across here and then have a ring of extractors around them like this. That might even be a better idea than what I've done. That way they're kind of interconnected with both of the factories. But we can always daisy chain another one off of here and get more of this out here somewhere. Just like we've done with this one. So I think it'll be fine in the end. Alright, good. We're making more factories. So we now need... Um, we have two more to, to, that we can build. I think I want to um, switch this. Let's turn this... Can I turn this off? No. I can switch it to like steel so it doesn't collect anything. Um, and then that needs... Oh, it needs one more mechanical part. So I lied. I need to do one more. There we go. And then we can turn it back to steel so it doesn't collect anything. And then... This will make that last factory. And then I want to switch it to making... I don't know if it loses items. Which is why I did what I did. This, and then we can do... Mechanical parts again. And we'll make some assembly lines too. Because we'll need them later. So we should, we should in fact expand our factory setup here. So that we can take more... Yeah, we definitely need to take more. So let's delete this one. And let's clone this one with middle mouse. And then that... And then that'll help take some of this iron off of the load here into here to make a bit more steel. And we could do the same over here, in fact. Um, maybe if I delete this one, we clone this to there. We clone this to there. Ah, we, uh, we unlock the next level. Build a supply center next to a city. Bring to it the resources it requires so the city grows. We have unlocked concrete, roads, road stops, supply centers and trucks okay so this is going that way let's make a few more of these before we go elsewhere and then we've kind of got a bit more uh, spread out of setup here which I think will work out okay uh, we'll see how it works out but I think it'll work out okay this to get us making a little bit more steel and let's go back to New Harbin whoa the zoom is a little bit crazy here is there a control configuration for that Mm, not like a speed thing. Um, like a, a zoom speed thing. Yeah, that's it's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit over zealous, I will say. I would say. Um, but the, so the city needs. It doesn't say what the city needs. Cities require resource supply and waste disposal, depending on their size. Okay, so this says. Nope. This here. It's a population of 10. A big, build a supply center next to a city. Right. Okay. Supply center. We need to make one, and it needs concrete to make. We make concrete from what? Hmm. Probably not sulfur, but I guess it could be aluminum. And the other thing was... Fluorite. Okay, how do we make concrete? Is there like a little guide here? Help? Yeah, that might help. Um, minerals. Okay, I don't see how. Uh, I guess well, concrete, sulfur. Okay, it does take sulfur. That's how you. That's how you find out. And then we'll need um, from there. We'll need also more concrete and more concrete and more concrete and mechanical parts. Okay, so let's go find the uh, nearest sulfur node, which looks like it to be this one. And let's get some mining going there. We probably should make some depots. Actually, we do need to make some depots, and those take steel bars. So let's see if we can set up. Hmm. You're making those. Let's move. Let's move you. I don't want you to take another one, but you're probably 
I want you to take one more, and then I want you to not take any more. Because uh, I want to delete this. And I don't want to waste. I don't like waste. Okay, delete that. And then let's... Oh, I don't have another depot, though. Um, crap. Um, then in that case, let's make... I guess it'd be an assembler plant. Not those. Nope, nope, nope. Well, let's, I guess let's try this then. To make those, yeah, see, it deleted the item. Okay, well, we need to make some depots anyway. And then I'm probably going to extend this um, platform, this depot out here, so I can put two factories on it so that we can do um, uh, both extractors and depots here. But I need to get one depot made before we can do any more. Time progresses quickly here. It's very cold. Very cold. Okay, that's two of them. One of them? One of them. Let's um, delete that then. We'll put, put it down here. Um, oop, I meant to clone it. So this is um, steel bars. And then I want to put down two factories, uh, no, two of these assembler plants, uh, except that you're going to do not that. Uh, you're going to do depots. And then we should be able to now make... We should now be able to go and start setting up um, sulfur up here. We need the, another depot to be made first, but we can at least do some planning. With this, like, one, two, three, four, five. And then a depot. That's going to be set to sulfur. And then a factory. Which will be concrete factory. And then the concrete goes into next... Uh, into a depot once we get another one made There we go Let's work our way this way maybe and then that'll be a concrete depot and then we need to have a, an assembly plant to make the supply center supplies and then once we have one of those we can put it up at uh, New Harbin and I guess that's the only one we actually need to make so maybe I should stop them from doing that right now because the other things we need to make out of concrete which were here um, I'm assuming those get made also in one of these Yes. So let's do uh, a bunch of roads. Uh, you can go back to being concrete again. And let's go build this supply center at New Harbin. Here we are. Okay, so this... Um, I guess it just needs a supply of concrete. So now we need to figure out how to do roads. I know we need the road stops as well. So we'll need another one of these to do road stop. Wait, how are we not making any factories anymore? Um, did I screw up my setup? Did I stop making them? I stopped making them. I need to make more factories here. Uh, not those. Nope, 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 factory. I don't like that it defaults to the... Um, to the extractor always. Like, the other things, like the depots, default to nothing. Which seems to be a better option to me. We'll at least get some factories going again. Uh, you are not making the right thing. You need to make road stops. Truck stop at road stops and load unload containers to from depots. Only one line per stop. Okay. We're making road stops here. I'll put it right there. 
probably want to do some more mining. Although it might actually lead to needing more factorying too. If it starts to back up on here, then I'll know I need to add another factory. Because I don't know ratios or anything yet. Well, I do know. it. This will produce 30 annually. That's 30 times 3 sulfur. That's 90 annually. This is producing 15, 15, 15, and 15. 15 times 5 is 75. So actually, that's not enough sulfur. If the math works out the way that it looks like it's supposed to. Okay, so let's do one of these. And then one of these. Ooh. Uh, that's all we got. That's all we got for now. We also need to make trucks, though. Uh, which were also made in a... They take mechanical parts. We need to make them down here. Mechanical parts are here. So let's do another assembler. Or, um... What's it called again? Assembly plant. Yeah, close enough. And truck... We definitely need to feed more mechanical parts into here, but hopefully it's smart enough to kind of distribute them somewhat evenly and give us the uh, give us the variety of things we, we want. Otherwise, I suppose I can... Actually, can you just pause these factories and assembly plants? Is there a pause button here? No, all you can do is change the recipe. Huh. Yeah, it's distributing them seemingly evenly. All right, so let's come back up here and build some more roads. Not that far, I guess. There we go. A couple more got made. You can probably figure out how to pause this, though, or switch the recipe um, to make more roads, because we really don't need a bunch of these stops compared to the amount of roads we needed, um, apparently. This says one line per stop. Although we do get four roads per craft. And only one road stop per craft. So that's also a thing. But I think we should, yeah, there's four now. I think we should switch this to be roads. Roads. But yeah, then it, it deletes whatever you had in it. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but we are not... I guess we are not... Uh, we're just barely keeping up. We're not quite keeping up, given that we have these five, and it, we did the math, and it should be... Uh, should be six. stop okay well, I guess we'll see that means when we get this this all finished keep going keep going uh, we're gonna put a stop in maybe here that way it's a, a little bit away from the, the actual city such as it is and uh, then we can kind of come in like that or maybe like this probably okay so that's finished um, so do we do Set destination. Is it there? For concrete. That automatically brought a truck in. Okay, good. I don't know where we see our volume of trucks made, but we are trucking. So I guess you have to delete it if you want to stop using it. How much are you hauling? Will you tell me? Uh, number of trucks. One. We have three available. We could add another truck to it. Okay. 
Okay, so that is the line. The, you know, the connector there. Um, so we should have another truck hauling now. Yes, we do. Annual transport capacity is six max. You need to have ten. So we need more trucks. Eight, eleven. Okay. There we go. Four trucks. We probably are going to need to make some more concrete, though. That seems like that's going to be a thing. So let's put another factory in here. Let's put another one of these down here. And then a bunch of these around it again. We won't do six again, but we'll do five. Um, and that should be a little bit more. And that'll give us a bit more concrete to be able to haul out to that. Um, but I think I'm going to want to delete one of these now. So that we have more concrete available for hauling. It doesn't seem that they like they picked anything up though. But maybe there has to be some sitting here for them to pick some up. Guess we'll see when one of the trucks gets back. It's a long trip. Use a train. What else did we unlock with this uh, this level? What was it? We've done everything. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. At least we're stockpiling here a bit now. And that means that if that's what the trucks are waiting on, that they will pick it up. Yep, that's what they were waiting on. They have to actually have one on their back, just like that. Okay, let's speed the game up. I want to see... Oh, maybe you need a depot? Too bad I can't turn that truck around. Uh, this will be concrete? Yep, we do. Okay. Let's speed it up again. There's another truck with one. I want to slow it down to see it happen. There you go. Good grab. Alright, good. So, our supply is insufficient, but we're getting there. Good. We made it. Okay, so now what? Size is growing. Status is growing. City supply is good. Okay. Oh, we just gained a person. Nice. Population five now. Ooh, look, a little, uh, little... A habitat. That's cool. Now six. Okay, now we're insufficient again. So we yeah, we we've we're demanding more. So we need to add more trucks. Now we need seventeen, it said. So add a couple more trucks here. Okay, speed up the game again. Come on, keep on trucking. It's interesting that the trucks don't stop. Like, if there wasn't a bot to go and catch it, it just keeps rolling. Okay, we're stable again. Growing, growing. Population of seven. And now we have more demand again. Uh, 21. Okay. Ooh, we got a lot stockpiled here now. Let's keep going with the trucks. We added um, something here. <laughs> we added a something. Now you need 23. Of course you do. Yeah, that'll give us 25. That'll get us up another level. We're getting there. Okay, we're good again. Nine people. Demand is 24 now. 
And 25. All right. Actually, just keep it going. That's fine. Reach a population of 100 in your biggest city. We unlocked aluminum bars. Aluminum bars. Carbon. Which is a raw material. Carbon ore. Uh, O2. Atmospheric extractor. Can extract dihydrogen and carbon from the atmosphere. Continue to produce if at least one output is not full. Cost mechanical parts and aluminum bars. And a landmark tower that we can build displays a custom text in the main view and the mini map. Okay. To use to locate our various industrial areas. Let's do one of those. We have to make one with a. Uh, I'm guessing with uh, one of these. What's that? Oh, the atmospheric extractor. Right. Let's put one of those in. And that's not what you make there. You make um, um, landmark towers. This is actually backing up, probably because this is backing up. I don't have any out enough output. Any, yeah. Any. Okay, so atmospheric extractor is mechanical parts and aluminum bars. So we need to mine aluminum next. That's way down here. Yeah, because we're gonna need mechanical parts too. So let's go ahead and, and mine that. Or start, start mining that, I should say. Um, how about if we do one, two, three, four, five, and a depot here for aluminum or, and then we can do a factory here for aluminum bar, and then another depot out here, which will be aluminum bar. And then those we have to transport to take to the same place where we want to make atmospheric extractors with the mechanical parts. We may not be making enough mechanical parts here. So we might actually want to do a little bit, uh, a little bit of changes here to, to or an expansion of the iron mine, but uh, changes too. So if we did if we built like a dedicated something to make, um, to make the, the parts rather than doing what we have here uh, you extract 15 you take in 30 times 3 which is 90 so it's again it's 6 to 1 and then the mechanical parts are here and they take in one steel bar and they can produce they can consume up to 30 steel bars so this is a one-to-one -one relationship here but we need 6 to 1 on the outside here okay um, in that case, why don't we do something like this, and then a factory here, making steel. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, iron. Iron. We're making steel. And then that'll go into another depot here to take the steel. And then we can do a um, another factory out here to make mechanical parts, right? Oh, I did the wrong thing. Factory here, mechanical parts. And then that'll go into a depot for mechanical parts. And then from that we can we could move some of these things or we can keep them there. But more importantly, we can um, supply or we can make these uh, next things, the atmospheric extractors. So let's put down a few of these extractors. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll pull all that in and start making these. And then we can set up a new roadway. We need uh, some more of the, whatchamacallit's being made here. Um, so let's, um, let's actually delete this even though I don't want to, to waste all that stuff. Actually, delete that one too. Clone this to there. And then we can put in two of these. One making the uh, road stops again. And the other one making... What else did I have be just being made there?
Not those. Wait. What else was I making there just now? Oh, the landmark towers. I probably don't need any more of those anyway. Yeah, we made eight. That's probably good. Uh, let's do this like this. And we'll call this one... Sulfur... Concrete. That way we can see that. Like that. We'll call this over here... Iron, steel, and uh, mech parts. And then we'll just call this one, um, for now at least, uh, iron mech parts. Mech parts. Because I'm not really using any of the steel from it. Although it's not really supplying steel here either. It's, it's more like... Um, um, buildings and mech parts and this would also have you know other buildings or whatever but uh, I'm fine with that I guess um, so now that we're making mechanical parts um, we can do another road from there and then down here I should put another tower up down here I suppose and there and a road in between yeah, we got lots of road pieces now Let's see, where do we want to go? What road do we want to take? I'll come out this way a bit, and then go this way. And come out a little bit more. Maybe even come from here, diagonally down, and plug that in like that. Um, actually, we want this stuff to go to a... Intermediary, perhaps? Or perhaps not. Just delete. Yeah, let's do like this. And then put a depot here. And now we can route the aluminum uh, from here. So destination. There. Uh, aluminum. And then, I don't know how much we're going to need. This gives us a capacity of four. And then we can do... Um, a building to make the atmospheric extractors, which I'm guessing is an assembly plant. I'm guessing. Yes, it is. And this would consume up to 12 aluminum bars a year, but do we need that much? Probably not, but I'll add a second truck anyway. It won't get us to 12, it gets us to 7, but it gets us something, something. Something, something. Uh, speed up again. Uh, I forgot to set this to aluminum. There we go. And we're making them now. Great. Let's get another one in here, perhaps. And then we should have an atmospheric extractor. Now, I don't know where we're going to want to put this. Is, does it make sense to put it here? Or is this where it's going to go? Yeah, they want oxygen here. So, let's put it up near town here. Uh, maybe up here. I don't want it too close, but uh, I want you to produce... Okay, you're going to produce both. So what we want to do is have two depots on this one. One on this side, one on that side, presumably. This one will be an oxygen. This one will be a carbon. That can go down and into another um, another depot set up here, like this. Okay, we've hauled way too much concrete. Probably because they're waiting on oxygen. Uh, so we, we don't need another, another supply depot necessarily. We just need another one of these. And one of these. And then we can do this to that. Can we go, like, through here? Like that? Destination. There. And you are going to haul oxygen. And then this... To, nope, I screwed up already. Um, delete that. Screwed up already. This goes here first. And then the depot goes next. Haul from... Change destination to there. Alright, well you start it over now. That's fine. And then this can be oxygen. Okay. Go. And this line will give me... Annual capacity of 26. And this is saying we need 10. 
Does that mean we also only need 10 concrete? I guess so. We need to produce a bit more oxygen, though. Yeah, you weren't quick enough. Because we're only producing... 12? Well, that should be enough, then. For now. We'll see. I might add. I may need to add another one. In that case, I may need to move the other depot. This is piling up. Holy cow! Yeah, I think we can probably reduce the number of trucks now. Okay. Good. All right, we are good now, so we should be boosting again. Yeah, we're at 11 people and, uh, and counting. These numbers are going to go up, of course. So we're going to want to eventually increase this um, truck count here as well as the one here again. But I think at least for right now... Add a couple more back. At least for right now, we're okay because um, our, our demand is still only 10. Uh, let's kick the speed up. So you can see that number go up, hopefully. Adding more stuff out here, of course. What else did we unlock with this level? Uh, nothing else. Nothing else that we can make right now. We don't know what we can do with carbon. It didn't say what to do with carbon. So, um, we'll have to just wait and see what carbon is used for. Yeah, it went up to 11 now surprised. We're 17 there and 26 there. Although, it's not that much because this is only producing 12. So we do need another one of these. Let's middle mouse that. Let's middle mouse this. And then, yes, transport over there, please. Thank you. Good. And I can delete this one. Um, I want to change it to something else, maybe. I uh, just deleted the stuff. Or did it just magically move them? I don't know. doesn't matter. Uh, that's a better layout anyway, because then it's like a diamond shape, and they're all connected. And that's good. Uh, let's see here. We have lots of trucks available, though. So now, we should be able to produce... 24. Which is just about what our capacity is on our truck. And we're demanding 14. Let's speed this up, see if we can get to 100 before we need to end this, uh, end this demo episode. Lots more stuff getting built here, of course. And we could always go and, you know, build out another city, too, while this one's going. And do the same thing elsewhere. Um, find some local resources to uh, New Bogota. Bogota. Pronounce it correctly, Wally. And uh, also over here at New Kuala Lumpur. Find those local resources mine, bring the stuff in, and then grow those cities, too. Oh, our, oh, our demand's gone up a lot. Uh, we need more of this, then? Well, oh, we completed the demo. Okay, yes, I want to add it to my wish list, but not right now. The next uh, step is to reach a population of 300. That gets us polymers, a larger, a larger or faster depot. Two hex range depot, okay. Can I do this without doing it? I mean, yeah, that's, that's good. You're not going to let me out of here. Oh, you are. Okay, good. So I think we would need to put in, you know, more of this like that. And like this. I guess we're just going to balance them. I guess that's the idea. Uh, because we need to have another truck here, too. That gets us to 52 capacity. This gets us to 36 capacity. And we need more concrete now. We need... Our demand is 15. Wait, wasn't it higher? Oh, we reinforced concrete. Oh, okay. Well, that's something we will do. That must be right there. Yeah, reinforced concrete and high-tech parts. And that'll come in the... Um, in the, the release version. So if you're interested in this game, and I am... Um, I'm going to uh, make sure you wish list and follow it as I just did because the game asked me to but also um, Keep an eye out for it because it's going to be releasing on Steam on February 15th So um, if you're interested like I said follow and wish list the game and then uh, Then you'll be you'll be notified when it's released on the 15th 
Also, if you uh, enjoyed this video, consider liking and or commenting. Uh, even a little emoji or something in the comments is appreciated. And check out the rest of Steam Base Builder Fest, uh, either on the Steam Base Builder Fest page or here on my channel as I uh, play through a couple of more demos yet this week. And we, uh, we continue to see what else is available out there um, throughout, the, throughout the weekend. I think through the weekend. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.